Hey guys, it's Andy. I wanted to show you a quick trick on how you can test your fan motors from the control board, even if your control board is not telling the fans to spin. We can do this with a jumper wire, which all I've done here is taken a paper clip and wrap some electrical tape around it. Keep in mind, uh, the, the refrigerator is plugged in, so don't touch anything on the board with your bare hands. We'll be working with the J2 plug. If you look on the left hand side, on the green portion of the board, you'll see J2 listed. It has a blue wire coming into pin number one, and then count from the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pin number eight should be a red wire. You can test both the condenser fan motor and the evaporator fan motor. Process is the same. You'll take one end of your jumper wire, put it in the red, and then pin number five should be solid yellow. That's your condenser fan motor. You should hear the motor behind your refrigerator kick on at that point. To test your evaporator fan motor, the process is the same. Put one end of the jumper wire, pin number eight, where the red wire is, and then pin number four, you have a yellow with a black stripe. You should hear your evaporator fan motor inside your freezer kick on. Now this evaporator fan motor is a variable speed motor. It means it runs at three different speeds, low, medium, and high. And what happens is there's a tachometer on that fan itself. It sends a frequency back to the control board through this blue wire. And we're gonna measure the Hertz frequency on that blue wire. So if your meter has a HZ setting, that's, that's the frequency response from that tachometer. Touch one probe to the blue wire on pin number one. The other one touch the wire going to pin number eight. And I'm getting 211 Hertz. That tells me that it's running on high speed. So somewhere between 195 and 200 Hertz is high speed. Medium speed is 145 to 160 Hertz. And then low speed is 70 to 85 Hertz. And based on that Hertz response from the tachometer, the board then knows whether it should speed up or slow down. Um, and it changes the voltage to that fan motor. So at low speed, uh, it should be 4.6 volts DC. Medium speed would be 8.1 volts DC. And high speed would be 12.6 volts DC. Hope this information was helpful. If you do have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please be sure and subscribe if you have not already done so. It helps a lot. Talk to you next time.